This freshly baked loaf of bread is ready to be taken home from the bakery. It's put into food packaging for taking home. Food packaging is a huge industry and it's driven largely by consumer demands. What are consumers demanding now? Green. Consumers are demanding greener packaging. So it seems as though the plastic bag is going out. But what's coming in to replace it? Well, uh, whatever it is, it's got some pretty high standards to live up to. Green packaging, which is defined as packaging that's biodegradable and sourced from nature rather than petroleum, uh, is having to compete with plastic. Plastic is superior in so many materials that we're using in many ways. Plastic is lightweight, it's durable, it's versatile, and more importantly, plastic is cheap. So, uh, how can we find a material to replace it? Uh, my thesis is looking at that exact question, and I'm trying to source it from wood. So, uh, wood has a polymer in it called hemicellulose, and hemicellulose, like other polymers, is very interesting because its properties change depending on its history. So whether I shake the biopolymer, compress the biopolymer, heat up the biopolymer, we'll give a completely different bioplastic. So for the past while, I've been experimenting with formulations of different bioplastics, and I've found that combining hemicellulose with another biopolymer, chitazan, has resulted in a very promising bioplastic, shown on this slide. Uh, I was so excited that I called up a local bakery and asked them if they'd like to do a usability study. They said yes. So we stored uh, bread in two types of packaging, uh, bioplastic and conventional plastic, for six days. And then we tested the crumb texture as well as the uh, microbial growth, so how much mold was growing on the bread. The results were rather interesting. Uh, we found that the bread stored in the bioplastic had significantly lower microbial counts compared to that stored in the plastic, which means that the bioplastic could actually have antimicrobial properties. Secondly, we found that the crust texture was crispier in the bioplastic stored bread, indicating that it was preserving the crispy crust better than the plastic was. These are very promising results, indicating that bioplastic can be green as well as prolonging the shelf life of bread keeping it fresher for longer. Now, we still have a long way to go in developing this bioplastic. It's very responsive to ambient humidity, meaning that if it's more humid in the air, it's going to be less strong. However, I strongly believe that if we keep up the technology and step up our game, we can eventually replace the plastic bag with zero waste advanced biomaterials. Thank you.